Daphne here from Steam Design Lab with a Marble Machine Project Tip video. In this video, I'll show you how to make a star-shaped gear for your cereal box Marble Machine Project. Then I'll show you how the gears and spinners work together. Step 1 starts with a simple pulley, like the one I made in Part 2 of this video series. You'll need to remove the rubber band you used to assemble it. In step two, I'll make the star-shaped gear teeth. I'm cutting a half-inch strip of cardboard from my cereal box. Then I'm making a mark every three quarters of an inch until I run out of room. The total length of the strip will determine the number of teeth you end up with. Now just start folding back and forth like you're making a paper fan. I'm using my nail to help me get the folds right on the lines. When it's all folded, press the edges together to get the creases sharp, then form a loop. Check to make sure it fits, then glue the ends, placing one end over the other and secure with a paper clip while it dries. I ended up with seven teeth on my gear. When I make another gear using the same size pulley, I will make sure it also has seven teeth so that the two gears will mesh properly. Since the size of each tooth should be the same from gear to gear, a larger pulley will need to have more teeth. You can do this with a longer strip of cardboard or by attaching multiple sections together. In step 3, I'll glue the pieces together. Apply a bead of glue to each of the inner corners of the star. Then gently stretch the star over the pulley. Place a rubber band around the star and gently adjust the position until the points of the star are fairly evenly spaced. Once you're happy with it, add another drop of glue at each point where the star touches the center tube. Set it aside to dry. The term drive gear refers to the gear that drives the other gears in a gear train. For my design, I want to be able to pull on a string to spin the first gear, so I'm just going to combine a pulley and a star gear to make this work. Using the same method I followed in part two, I made a small pulley. I will be gluing this pulley to the front of a star gear. I will make sure the center holes line up by running the end of a paper clip support through the holes before I glue them. This way, when I spin the pulley, I will also spin the attached gear around the same axis. Once the surfaces are glued, secure it with a rubber band until it dries. Once you have your gears ready to go, all you need to do is hang them. For the driven gear, I'm adding a simple bend to a paper clip, exactly like I did in part two. Then I'll feed this through the side holes and bend the tip or add a dot of glue there to keep the gear from sliding off. Since the drive gear is twice as thick as this one, I had to straighten the paper clip to the first bend, then make the 90 degree bend to get it to fit all the way through. The clips for rotating elements like gear spinners and pulleys are taped to a board using masking tape. You will want all the spinning elements to hang so that they are parallel with the surface of your board. You will also want to place your gears next to one another and make sure the teeth mesh together nicely. In this example, my drive gear is on the left 
and my driven gear is on the right. Since the string spinners and pulleys don't have teeth, you need to wrap a string around them to make them turn with everything else. I either glued or wrapped rubber bands on all the tubes that the strings will contact to keep them from slipping. For more information on this project and others, check out our website at steamdesignlab.com.